Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. Hey. We're continuing on with Squid Games. This is episode two, Hell. I thought that the end of episode one was kind of hellish, but uh, I guess it's about to get worse. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you so much picture in picture. If you want to watch the whole thing along with us, uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash jabbykoei. You will need your own Netflix subscription so you can open up the show in an adjacent window to our reaction, but it's like you're watching it with your two favorite pals from the internet. If you're watching this on YouTube, please also hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. And if you're watching this on Patreon already, thanks so much for supporting us here. All right, let's dive in. Oh. The incinerator. And they gotta get rid of the body somehow, I guess. I guess. At least they get bows. At least they get what? Bows on their uh, coffins. Oh, bows. I thought you were talking about speakers. I'm like... I didn't see that product placement anywhere. <laughs> At least to get... Bo- oh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Someone's still alive? Oh, shit. Are they going to burn him alive? Oh, no. Oh, oh that's God. Terrible. That's horrific. Oh, I felt a little sick in my mouth. The music is, like, very unsettling. God, how cold do you have to be as a person? Yeah. Nail that coffin down with the guy's like, let me out. What the? Yeah, what about that guy? He's right there. <laughs> the question is, are you going to remember that? Yeah. The next time you get desperate. <laughs> It's like an old school arcade game. That's so sick. Oh, so I was wrong in my estimation. More than half. <laughs> Why is it all the women? I know. No one cares about you. <gasps> Whoa. Didn't see those earlier. Of course the lawyer remembers. I think it's everybody has to agree. Oh no, okay. <laughs> oh, that's gonna change everything, isn't it? Yep. Watch. It's just like that uh, the arcade game that he was playing to get his daughter mm-hmm. the, the prize. It's gonna feel all the way up. It's easy, right? All we have to do is just follow the rules. That's fine, right, you guys? Okay. It's like... It's a little bit like Saw in a way, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no pressure. What is he going to vote? Does everyone, is it, does, is it uh, public? Like everyone yeah, can see what you did? everyone okay. can see what you did. Everybody turn around. <sighs> that is not what I was expecting. Well, obviously the game's not going to end. Yeah. What are you going to do for the next several episodes? What, she's going to pick green? And then, it's and then it's gonna be like one and one, and then so people are gonna be like, okay. It's well, if she feels like it's okay, <laughs> look at his face. He's like, the fuck, lady. Exactly. It's too enticing to give up. <gasps> That's a little bit more neck and neck than I was expecting, though. Yeah. I, cause this I, is actually I, surprising. I thought with all that money, it's just easily everyone's gonna go. Oh, let's just keep playing. Screw it. It's also super dangerous, though. It was a nice touch that the. the Dramatic effect of the money dropping into there. Yeah. As opposed to it just being in there. Ooh, 50-50. Oh, this guy. He's going to do it, isn't he? He's going to vote green. Knew it. He's like, huh? You? I I was a little nervous and thought that maybe people who voted against the game were going to get eliminated. She was the one who was crying, right? Yeah, right? 
난 나가서 개처럼 살다 죽느니 여기서 뭐라도 해보다 죽을 겁니다. Oh God. Finish the vote. Finish the vote. Yeah. 국민 투표 절차를 방해하는 어떠한 행위도 용납하지 않겠습니다. Oh well, at least there's that. 다시 투표를 재개하겠습니다. Well, what I like about this is that they could conceivably like work together exactly but are they going to yeah. that's the question if everybody works together then there's a way out what it's gonna, what, come out, it's gonna be a, a tie a tie vote yeah oh wow oh it's the old dude oh he's got nothing left to, left to lose yeah it was very dramatic how they set that up. Like the oldest guy is number one, and then our protagonist is the last one, yeah. and then they swapped it around in this one. So he's got the final say. What you gonna say, old timer? Is he gonna be selfish or is he gonna think about everyone? Wait, that's not what I was expecting. What's gonna happen? Oh, but it's just that one game. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? I'm so confused. They're gonna have a second vote. Oh. <laughs> they could come back and play. <laughs> she really gonna just leave him there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's such a liar. That's an unexpected twist, man. Yeah. Is it still charged? Nope. Uh. Or do. 차비는 있어요? 네. 집에 갈 돈이 있냐고요. 걸어가요. 여기서 안산까지 걸어서. It's very kind of him. 기다렸다가 버스 타고 가요. 안 돼요. 그냥 가지고 가요. Wow. 이상한 사람들이 모르는 사람들 수백 명을 운동장에 하라고 하고 총으로 막 쏴주겠다. 그거죠? 예. Yeah. 그 애들이 하는 무화 꽃이 피었습니다. 예. Yeah. Oh, that sounds crazy. The police have to be paid off because this can't be the first time someone's come in. That's true. 처음에 왜 가신 건데요? 돈을 준다고 해서 돈이요? Sounds bad, dude. Yep. Doesn't sound very realistic. 저 혹시 보호자 있으세요? 이게 그놈들의 준비함이니까 여기로 전화해 보면 될거 아니야? Do we recognize them? 여보세요. 혹시 게임 같은 거할수 있습니까? Did he get the card back? Oh, he got the card back. Oh. Hmm. What's gonna happen now? Oh, maybe he's been in the games before. It seemed like he recognized yeah. it. Yeah. Well, he certainly noticed the card, at the very mm -hmm. least. Oh no, what's happened to mom? She looked like she was kind of... Oh, oh no. The vegetables are still there. Oh, that's his mom. What are future? What are futures? I don't really understand futures. 내거 말고 어머니 것까지 다 들어갔어. Oh shit. 엄마 가게까지 다. Are they both gonna get a call? 
네, 전데요. We have your mother. That's his mom. Yeah, oh. that was a good call. Oh <gasps> shit! 옵니다. He didn't know. 어디 왔어요? 이 정도면 통증이 심했을 텐데. Oh, she's a lifestyle. 최악의 경우엔 수술로 발을 절단해야 될 수도 있어. That's a real thing. Yeah. Yeah, my dad went through that. 아, 엄마 어디가? 이번에 하라자. She's not gonna want to get her feet up and dated. She can't get around. 아, 걸어도 제대로 못 걸어서. 아, 잘하고 마. 월세는 누가 낼게? Exactly. 그 가고 너 하루 병원 이번 안 가. Yep. 다 써버렸잖아. 고마워하고 싶다. Oh, this is painful. Damn. Yeah. Oh. 내또 가져오면 될거 아니야? 한 사람 여기저기 전화도 해보고 직접 실종 신고할게요. 아, 저 대한민국 경찰이에요. Hmm. Oh, maybe he's going to believe. 너무 걱정하지 마세요. 기현. 고시원비 내는 날짜가 일주일 전이었거든요. 시가 보세요, 그럼. This lady. <laughs> Dang. That's a tiny room. That's a room. teeny tiny room. He likes art. Ah, oh, they're dead. Oh, the fishies died. Is that the... The lighter? Yeah. What is it? Oh, no, something else. Oh. Oh, he's gonna connect the dots. Yes, he is, because he's a smart police officer. That's what he is. Go find him. Compare the phone numbers. Okay, we're gonna find out about her. Man. Stakes are high. 황영사 그 미친 놈 이름은 왜? 생각해 보니까 예전에 알던 사람 같아서요. 밀린 월급 주세요. 돈이 없어. 너 알다시피 회사 사. 다음 얘기하자. 내가 좀 바쁘다. Tackle his ass. Oh my god. Tackle him. Oh man. Oh my god. That was unexpected. Oh. I did not see that coming. Ugh. 당한 사람이 누군이 아니야. 또 새로 다시 시작해야 되니까니. All the parents are back in North Korea. In North Korea, I think, yeah. 그래서 얼마인데? I forgot that she was North Korean. I thought that he was saying it as a slur, but I guess. 이상은 있어요. 거기서 다시 남조선으로. Oh, dang. 한번더나 속이면 다음에 무조건 이목 붙어 떨 거야. What happened? Oh, she pickpocketed him. Oh. Damn, she's fast. 이번 잘 먹고 다니는 거. Oh, she named the fish store after him. 너뭐 먹어? 아니야 엄마. She's cute. She's a cute old lady. 언제 돌아와? 일이 좀 길어져서 아직 잘 모르겠어. It's really interesting they integrated that bit about the North Korean family. Yeah. Because. I've watched stories about that, and it's a brutal, brutal situation. Yeah. Ah, yeah. 잠깐만요. 상우야, 손님 왔다. 우리 아들 그만 들어가. 사랑해 아들. She's adorable. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. North Koreans come down to South Korea and in hopes of a better life, and they're just put into isolation, and they're not welcomed. Yeah. It's intense. 아준다고 그렇게 자꾸 뭘 사가지. Oh God, what's gonna happen? 결혼을 했어요? <laughs> 내가 중매 좀 살까요? 아 근데 우리 아들이 눈이 좀 높아. <laughs> oh no. 혹시 조사? 어 경찰입니다. 어 조사무 씨께서 횡령과 사문서. 위... Damn. Oh, in front of her customer too. They don't give a shit. Oh, oh mama. The heck is that? Oh, is he trying to commit suicide? Probably. Oh, I said the word I wasn't supposed to say. Whoopsie. You can get another chance. Go back in the game. Do you reckon it's the popo? No. It's another offer. Somehow they're able to keep tabs on people. It's true. Maybe they've wired all their homes or something. Who is it? Do you have a peep? Yeah. A card. Oh! Mm -hmm. You're right. 
It's got to go back in. They needed a chance to see that when they're out in the real world, it's not any yeah, better. Yeah, it's not better. And so then they'll be fully committed yeah. to playing the game. This show is focusing on stuff I wasn't expecting it to. Yeah. It's very interesting. I mean, like, the last thing I expected was, like, this whole element about an Indian foreigner in Korea struggling. Well, that's something that happens a lot. I didn't know it happened in Korea. Yeah. Oh, dang. Oh, man. That's money. <laughs> Anyone I see, anytime I see someone stubbing out a half cigarette, I'm like, you're just wasting money. Money right there. Cigarettes are expensive. All. Well, yeah, you shouldn't be smoking Terrible at all, habit. but like, if you're gonna. And, and you're broke and you're, and you're, whoa. I mean, I guess, so whatever. Go yeah. It's not enough to cover the surgery. Yeah. Here comes another card. Hello. Player one. Oh. Oh, shit. It's Gramps. Oh, young Gum Nim. Young Gum Nim, do you don't get Sasel? I'm in Saranis. Oh, young Gum Nim, you're always up in there. Mm, what are the odds? I don't think that drink is going to hurt his tumor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's got food in the bag. I come bearing snacks! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, dry that. ramen. Ugh. Oh, that's the worst. Geez. No, it's not. I never had dry ramen, actually. It's pretty good, actually. It? Yeah. It's, it's like chips. Oh, is it? Yeah. But my mom said if if you ate it, then it would expand in your stomach and your stomach would explode. It's a lie, obviously. A game. Come on, dude. Keep up. You had to have thought about it. You could. He did do pretty well. It's hell. I wonder how many people go back. Everybody. Everybody? It's going to be like 201 people again. Well, I mean, they have to... Oh, you don't think there's going to be a whole elimination process with the red light, green light thing again? Not the same game, obviously, but Oh, like, no, but like... Like a whole new 456... Group. No, no, I don't think there's going to be 456. Yeah. Is he going to take his car? Is he going to tell him? Oh, he's trying to rob them? I'm sure they're gonna have planned for that. Yeah, Oh, he's working for them. What the? Oh, oh, never mind. Oh no. Oh damn. Is it those guys? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I'm not surprised. Ooh! God damn! Oh my god! That's a lot of blood. Oh well, okay. What have they got? Uh oh, uh oh. Why would that guy be so freaking like. All the hubris when he's not even out of the car yet. Like, at least get out and then point and laugh. Yeah, <laughs> right? I know. Come on. Oh, gosh, everybody's broke. Jeez. Well, don't say stuff like that. Oh, this isn't going to be good. She's gonna go out after him. Oh, she's gonna give him the umbrella. She's a sweet little girl. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, the stepdad's gonna do it? What? Just stay away. He's her dad. Oh, shit. Oh boy. Mm. That was that went way worse than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. 
I thought she was going to give him the umbrella yeah. and then I have a sweet little moment. No, we're watching that, a Korean show. That plot <laughs> twisted on me a couple of times in the span of like 30 seconds. Because yeah. like, I didn't know it was going to be him. I didn't know he was going to give money. Yep. And oh. I didn't know she was going to show up like that. If he's dead, you can't. Oh, so the more than likely he died in the games. Yeah, because if he if he, he hadn't, he'd be back. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I, I think I got it into my head that maybe there was another set of games or something. I was wondering how they're going to get this to 10 episodes with only six Yeah. Games. So that's our main cast then. Yeah. You know what you're in for. That's some tricky editing. Yeah. Oh, there are people in the back. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh. I was wondering about that. I was yeah. like, is anyone following them this time? But surely they're going to be smart enough to realize that they've got a tail. I was wondering as well if anyone would have, like, tried to outsmart the system by, like, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that, too. Like, I could just pretend to fall asleep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? I want to say that I'm very pleased with how much this twisted in ways that I wasn't expecting. Yeah. I haven't felt like this since I watched Whiplash because like every time I was, I thought I knew what direction this was going to go. It went the opposite direction. I was fully expecting, especially with a title like hell, I was fully expecting this to be way more violent than the previous episode. Yes. Like we were going to get a lot more games or at least the second game. And it was going to be a lot more visceral and yes, violent. And yes. like, but it, it went this opposite direction where it's like, Oh no, they're leaving the game. It's over. And now they're going to go rein reinserted back into society. And it's just a reminder of how awful it is and why you have absolutely have to go back into the game. Well, yeah, because they're setting up the stakes for all of the characters and they're showing us a little bit more about them and why we should care about them. The girl, right? And she came across as this kind of really awful woman who was just backstabbing and a thief, a thief yeah. and, and all of that. And she comes across as really hard. Mm -hmm. And then it turns out that, you know, she's got this little brother and she's just trying to help reunite her family. You know, well, we got two kinds of struggling foreigners in the show. We have a yeah. North Korean defector and we have someone who came for a better life from I'm guessing India. Yeah. And um, I mean, he was speaking Urdu. So well, I, I, it sounded a I lot know. like Hindi to me, but then I don't, I know that Hindi uses a lot of Urdu words. So maybe he's speaking pure Urdu. And so it sounds recognizable to me. Oh, I wasn't sure if they just cast an Indian actor and he was playing Indian or something else that was close. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. But the thing is, I didn't realize, and I, I don't know if this is like, it must be reflective of stuff that's going on in South Korea, right? Because I didn't know that they also had a lot of migrant workers coming to work there. Like, I know that in the Middle East, there are... The UAE. Yeah, the UAE, yeah. Saudi Arabia, like yeah. a lot of those places hire migrant workers and often the working conditions are very poor. Yeah, they're horrible. They're, they're horrible. Not making much money. They're not making much money, yeah. but everyone's there because they want to it's send money to, home. It's close to slave labor. Pretty much. It's pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's very surprising to see them touch upon that in this show. I wonder, because it's Netflix... Um, I wonder how South Koreans feel about that portrayal because I'm not used to seeing that in South Korean film or, or shows. Yeah, like I, yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing there. So that kind of opened my eyes to that situation. Well, the North Korean uh, defectors thing was uh, something I had known about because, yeah. you know, you, you'd think that as someone who is stuck in the North Korean regime like that, like it's stuck under that kind of oppression. I mean, you can imagine from their perspective, like if I could just get across this border, like you are going through all kinds of harrowing stuff just to make it alive across the border. Yeah, you could die. You could die. And then you'd land there and nobody wants you and everyone treats you like garbage. And then you're trapped in this sort of isolated world with other North Koreans who managed to get there alive as well. It creates a weird environment and a weird animosity and just feeling and just like you're just trying to survive and make your way in the world. And it sucks. And it's like because you hear about like, okay, for instance, people coming here to the States and it's really hard 
you know, and whatnot. And they're just trying to make their way. We're in such a bubble sometimes that you would never think that might happen in other parts of the world, like South Korea. You, you, you know, especially as an ignorant American, you're like, they're both Korean, right? Like, what's the big deal? But North Koreans have their own distinct accent. I can't tell the difference because I'm American. I don't speak the language. Right. But they have their own distinct accent so that you can, you immediately know that's a North Korean. And it's not, you know, they're not one of your friends or whatever. They're not from your neighborhood. Right. You know what I mean? Um, I think that's really cool. And it shows you the ugly side of it, which is so obvious. It's like you don't have a lot of options. Yeah, you're dealing with people who are basically gangsters or who are bad people as well because they're the only ones who will take your money yeah. and help you and then you get scammed. Like you were saying, it, your heart goes out to these people. Yeah. You know, because it's like a desperate situation. Yeah, they just want a, a, a better life and like I can totally see why it's so important for her to reunite her family. That's something that we can understand. And then our main character, his mom is really sick now. Yeah, it's not just the gambling. Because like initially going into it, you're just thinking all these people are messed up. They're just gamblers. They're just yeah. messing with other people's lives. And then it turns out, no, like there are people with like real needs that are totally understandable well and yeah and then they're showing people from life yeah all walks of life because then you have that that guy who was uh from gihan's hometown from his area and he's made good apparently only to find out he's embezzled a whole bunch of money and he's like now he's in trouble even though seemingly he looks like someone who's got it all sorted yeah you know i call that the instagram effect yeah it's like you look at it it's like the highlights of their life and you're like oh they must be living it up and it turns out they're just as crazy and struggling and pressed as you are <laughs> well you it know? seems like everyone is and this is the thing that i was kind of wondering when i heard about the premise of this show and it's something that has been coming up a lot in in Korean cinema that I've been watching is like this idea of you know people who are in the lower classes and how they struggle yeah. they're saying something about that about that class struggle mm. and about you know people who you know they're in a bad situation and well, they're in yeah. debt and and it's it's hard because I mean, once you get in debt it's like it keeps accumulating because yeah. you take out more loans in order to pay that loan and then right. suddenly you're like in over your head right they have a saying here in the states for that it's like you're robbing peter to pay paul and that's exactly what our main character has been doing yeah he's just like taking here putting here and then like just trying to keep his head above water you know to his neck they explored this a bit in parasite exactly i mean i hope no one is offended by me saying this i'm enjoying this more than parasite so far I know it's two totally different films, but the ideas that it is expressing is similar. And so I, I'm i really enjoying this. The twist with what happened just outside of his ex-wife's house that was so unexpected because they set you up perfectly. The little girl sees the umbrella and your thought is, oh, she's going to bring the umbrella to him. Daddy, yeah. I love you. I got to go. And it's just heartbreaking. But instead, the dude comes out and you're like, oh, he's bringing the umbrella... He's only got one umbrella. What the hell is he doing out there? He's gonna oh, say, he's going to give him some money. And but, yeah, like, but like yeah. my thought was he's going to say stay away. I didn't know he was going to give him money. Oh, he's being nice. It's unexpected. And then, and then it turns around and punches him because he's saying <laughs> stay away from my family. Like, yeah. And then the little girl's there. I'm like, whoa, this was so unexpected. Like a several things in succession. It was great. Like... Just the writing is really, really strong. To not just lean on the violence as a means of keeping you there. You know what I mean? Exactly. And that's the thing that I really like about this episode. Because, you know, according to what we're used to watching these types of things in Western cinema, you would think, oh, so each episode is going to be each game. And it could easily have just become like violence. more brutal. Yeah, yeah like violence porn or yeah. whatever. You know, it's just there so that we get shocked and awe by the grotesqueness and and the violence of it all but they took a break and they're like okay we're going to show you why you ought to care about these characters and why the stakes are so high yeah. and then also i mean even from the very beginning they were usurping our expectations because our expectation at the very beginning was oh everyone's going to vote to stay for sure right 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 like, that's what i'm saying yeah, yeah like we didn't know that it was going to be that close and then they were going to go oh no we want to we want to leave and then they leave and it's like wait but but there's a show yeah there's yeah. a show here yeah that we're supposed to watch and so yeah like at this point i should have known better because it's not like we're newbies to korean cinema yeah but it's just like 
Of course, they're going to just do things that we least expect. At right. this point, we should just know. It's still fun to try and guess, though. Right. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, for sure. I mean, when the old guy was deliberating over which way to go and he was leaning towards the red, I thought he was going to go, at ah, green. Yeah. And then the games go on. But I that's what you expect in like a in a Western movie right. or a Western show. You're like, yeah, yeah, I understand these beats. Well, I mean, taking even just taking that aside, like just looking at it on its own, it's just good writing. I yeah. Mean, in, in my opinion, thus far, these two, these two episodes in, it's good writing. You see the change in the in the main character right away where he is recognizing for once in his life the blindfold of his gambling addiction has been pulled back and he's seeing what's in front of him yep. and the stakes of what's going on in his life for the first time and what he's about to lose between his mother and his child like it's getting real it's a different motivation for going back in it's not just trying to like get rid of the loan shark it's to make sure that he's taking care of the people around him yeah so, which he hasn't been doing exactly mm -hmm. and so now i'm on board with the dude and so it, they did a really good job there. I'm liking this so far quite a yeah. bit. Yeah, and it's also ironic, isn't it, that when he gets chucked out on the street with the North the Korean girl, yeah. he's all like, I swear on my mother's life. And she's like, oh, how little you value her life. And then he comes back and it's like, oh, she could die because yeah. she's really sick. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's like, ugh. I mean, and that line is actually quite special coming from her. You think about it well yeah because yeah. she would do anything to have her parents do anything she she'd participate in a game where she could potentially die yeah. because she wants her family to be together again yeah right. it's it's really good that's crazy you're learning so much about the characters you guys thanks so much for hanging out if you're watching this on youtube please hit that subscribe button bell icon all notifications and vote this up to let youtube know you're enjoying what you're watching and also uh, if you're watching this on patreon already thanks so much for supporting us here i'm jabby koi this is achara kirk peace out